This is the Thursday evening KRQE.com webcast. Mark Ronchetti starts with the weather. Well, the weather looks pretty nice here. Mild conditions overnight tonight with largely clear skies. Slight chance at a shower across eastern New Mexico once again. Tomorrow, plenty of sunshine, warm conditions, and into Saturday, the winds crank up. Fire danger continues to be an issue through at least Saturday with wind gusts up to 35 miles an hour. There was deadly violence in Albuquerque overnight downtown, which has been a flashpoint for thuggery and bad behavior turned murderous as a rap concert was letting out at the Sunshine Theater at 2nd and Central. Witnesses told police after a fight inside the show spilled outside, a young black man walked up to another young man in a parking lot across the street and opened fire at close range. The unnamed victim was killed. At least a half dozen shots were fired and another man was wounded in the arm. It's not clear if he was an intended target or just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Police are looking for a gold four-door Maxima or Camry with a spoiler on it. They believe that is the car that the shooter escaped in. Good news on the fire front. New mapping shows that the Colorado Peak Fire in the Santa Fe National Forest is not nearly as big as first estimated. That fire erupted suddenly yesterday afternoon and it has charred 269 acres, but it's now 65% contained and it's mostly just a large gray burn scar. The fire got within five miles of some homes and 10 miles of the Santa Fe airport. It is not known yet how it started. And the Bear Springs fire about 15 miles away in the Hamas is now 75% contained. It has burned just over 600 acres, but backfires have helped to stop its spread. Nearly 200 people were working that one, but the fight there has gone so well, some of those firefighters will be released. As for the fight against the biggest fire in state history, the Whitewater Baldy down in the Gila, that also appears to be going well. It's holding at about 264,000 acres. Containment is up to 30% now. Firefighters are mostly doing burnout operations and working to strengthen the containment lines. Join us for all the latest news tonight on KRQE News 13 at 10.